notice there's a lot of videos on YouTube called the Power Hour. Uh, it's where somebody is working around their house and cleaning it, and they videotape it. I've never really had a power hour, and I thought, why don't I share with you my power hour? A lot of these videos, the women have beautiful homes, and they have all kinds of beautiful decorations and, and beautiful big houses. Everything looks new and pristine. What's a power hour like for someone like me, who lives extremely frugal, who has a small house, and somebody who's just more homesteady and farmy like me. Well, come on, let's get working on our power hour. So normally for my power hour, I turn a little bit of John Denver on, but I can't play John Denver. So I'm just gonna play some music. You're just gonna go along with me and watch me as I do redding up. Redding up is a Pennsylvania Dutch word for cleaning up. Redding up means it's just a surface cleanup. So in other words, when you're redding up, you're just picking up after things. It's not a deep clean. So I guess let's get started on my power hour. So it's 8.05. I have to 9.05 to get the house clean. Let's see if I can get it done. Well, for me, for my power hour, first thing I got to do is heat some water up because I don't have any hot water. So, I see all the girls on their power hour videos and they have high pressured water and it just comes out with such high pressure. I don't have that. Ah! So, it takes me a little longer to get my power hour started. So, let's get started here. So, the first thing I gotta do is, first thing I do is, I gotta get some water in here. And I gotta heat this water up. Now I heat this up to clean off my tables and stuff. My dishwasher has been an amazing asset in my life because like I said, I don't have hot water and so this really is nice for me. I run my dishwasher about once a day and it really doesn't take that much more electricity. on a cookie sheet because the bottom of it's broke and I don't want to get all the crumbs all over the counter space.
kitchen is pretty much finished and I have 35 minutes to do the rest of the house. Ah, this powwow sure is a lot of work. <laughs> Saturday I have a really deep clean that's when I wash my floors and I clean the baseboards and all that stuff but this one hour power hour this really helps you get stuff done so I'm in the bathroom right now and all I'm doing is putting stuff away I love the toilet paper cozies or toilet paper covers whatever you want to call them they are so cute I know I love the crocheted things if it's crocheted, I love it. So what I'm just doing here is just putting some things away in the bathroom. So I'm guessing the power hour would be what my mama would say is Tuesday midweek cleaning. So my mom, my mom always would clean every Tuesday midweek cleaning. I don't have that much makeup. Oh, that keeps falling. I really don't have that much makeup. So, let's see if I can put stuff in my drawers like this. It really makes a difference when you start redding up. Just the little things. I wish I had a place for my brush. I wish my brush could fit in here. Hey, it did. Alright, and then I just take some of my homemade cleanser and I'll clean it. Let me go get a rag. Just having your surfaces clean really just makes your whole place look cleaner. Okay, so the bathroom is pretty much finished. So what happens is everything gets stashed out in my pantries and we still go and get water every week. Now I do use my Berkey water filter when I'm cooking because I can boil it but we still get our drinking water. So there's a lot of jugs that we have to deal with. There's a lot of water jugs we still have to deal with. So we're going to get water today. And that means I need to put all the jars out in the car, which gives me more room in here. I store the water in this refrigerator. So I'm pretty much done canning into my own garden. Well, I started at 8.05 and I have about 15 minutes left. That gave me enough time to wash the rings of my candy jars and put them away and just check if anything else needs done. Whew. So I have my ingredients ready for a meal that I'm making and I'd say power hour is more work than I ever dreamed. Now can I have an hour nap? <laughs> I don't think so. Take care everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, it's time for Fanny's Diary, and we're on May 17, 1943. Remember last week when Fanny's lima beans froze? Well, today, she says, 
I'm painting in the morning and in the afternoon I washed some laundry and I planted six more pounds of lima beans. I think this time Danny's safe. I don't think we're going to get any more frost.